Just sit back, relax while we get to where we scrutinizing. Peace and Pan-Africanism. Let me go to my brother, Brandon Mills. What is God to me? I'm going to try to answer this without even thinking, brother Brandon, as, as best I can. Here we go with the foolishness. Here we go. To me, God is indescribable, unknowable, incomprehensible. God is indescribable, unknowable, incomprehensible, and unnameable. One more time, brother Brandon. God is unnameable, unknowable, incomprehensible. Okay? Lie. And I'm saying this because we will give God a name. And because we have named an unnameable thing, we think we understand God. So I am here to tell you, I don't care if you practice Yoruba spirituality as I do. I don't care if you practice Igbo spirituality, Kemetic spirituality, Akan spirituality. I don't care if you Palo, Lukumi, Santeria, Voodoo. I don't care if you Muslim or Christian or Hebrew or Seventh Day Adventist. None of us can fully comprehend the grandeur and the greatness of what supreme consciousness is. Brother, I was almost, I was a little bit with you until you started, you, 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 you said a few little things, you said indescribable and all that, and then incomprehensible, and then you, you flipped it, he added some stuff. And when you got in there talking about he was unnameable and unknowable, I said, oh, this brother is a tweak. Because now when you're talking about all that consciousness stuff, I think you lost consciousness, brother. Because <laughs> we know his name is clearly Yahweh. We know his name is Yahweh. Or oh, Yeshua. Jesus. We know his name. So, so then that's what that's why we call him the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We know who the Lord is. And he's let us know that because he sent us back a comforter, a paraclete, the Holy Ghost. Oh, we can know his mind. And matter of fact, he said, let this mind be in you also that was in Christ Jesus. That's what he told you. That's what he meant when he said, put it on. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Because if you, if you take this mind on, if you ingest his word, then you won't sin against him. You won't be able to sin against him. You know? So that's the whole point of having the Holy Ghost. That's the whole point of him sending his spirit so you can have an infilling, so you can be full of it, full of his word, okay? So brother, <laughs> and this ain't even the just of what I want to go into because brother, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> boy, I'm going to tell you, boy, when you get distracted, brother, oh yeah, I'll be seeing you, brother. You be a little bit too distracted, brother. A little bit too distracted. Got me wondering, is Snow Bunny still on the horizon, baby? All we can do is hope to begin to understand the source from which all of us come. Meditate on that, brother Brandon. Meditate on that, my good brother. Get Brandon, to know your throw that in the trash, Brandon. because throw no in the trash. one can guide you to God consciousness like your undead relatives. I said nobody can guide you into God consciousness like your undead relatives who are on the other side. See, we live in two worlds, brother Brandon, at the same time. La. We live in two worlds. At the same time, you live in a spiritual world, in a physical world, and they interact all the time. But in order for you to see what's happening in the spiritual world, Brother Brandon, in order for you to understand and see, you got to have your spiritual senses on. Whoo, black folks, black folks, can we please stop waiting to so-called black men die to finally give them flowers? To finally give them honor Why do we keep on praising And worshiping the dead All this ancestor talk and all this foolishness 
if y'all don't get on, that's the very reason why the Black Panther ain't the Black Panther no more. Instead of being Black Panther, it's just Wakanda forever. If y'all want a Dormary Lodge movie, if y'all want a movie full of all these female warriors and all this ancestral foolishness, then just go head on and uh, make that movie about that. Just go head on and do what you really want to do, which is honor and worship and lift up your queens and your goddesses and all this foolishness. But don't keep on talking about no doggone ancestors. So tired of that ancestor talking. They, your undead relatives and all that foolishness and you got people making all these murals and and, and, and all this goof, goofiness that's going on, man. If y'all don't stop worshiping the dead, it's something about black folk and worshiping the dead. Y'all just can't let it go. Y'all rather worship folk and give them flowers when they're dead. Can't talk to you no more. I'm trying to think some of y'all a little bit crazy, a little bit off. And then y'all let Goofy sit up there and hype y'all up and put batteries in y'all back. Y'all out here trying to straight up worship the dead and trying to call it religion. Y'all better stop this foolishness. See, I got my physical eye, but my third eye might be closed. I got my physical ears, but my spiritual ear might be closed. I got my physical touch, but my spiritual touch might be off. I got my physical knowledge, but my divine knowledge might be off. Brother Brandon. So you have to develop your clairvoyance, sight, clairaudience, hearing, clairsentience, feeling, intuition, direction, and clear cognizance, intelligence, my brother. That's why most of us don't believe there's another dimension. That's why most of us don't believe, Brother Brandon, that there's another dimension. That's why most of us don't believe, Brother Brandon, that there's another dimension because we are dumb, deaf, and blind. See, when spiritual books and leaders tell you you're dumb, deaf, and blind, they're not talking about these eyes. They're not talking about these ears. They're not talking about this mind. They're talking about the spiritual mind, the spiritual eye, the spiritual ears. Brother Jamal sent $20. Black men supporting black men. That's what I'm talking about. Black men supporting black men. There's a rumor out that most of my supporters are women. There's a yeah, rumor we see out just how distracted that you most are. of my supporters are women. Yes, I had white women pursue me at every level of education. Oh, you just saw something that made you reminisce on that macadamia at nut white chocolate chip, huh? PWIs that I attended. Making them cookies look that good that you lost your train of thought? Yes. Well, looks like this nigga's out here distracted again. Every video, every video. Guess what? I have just as many men as I have women supporting me. If you go to my Facebook, my number one supporter group on Facebook is black men 18 to 35. So for all y'all running around talking about he the king of the queendom, for all y'all running around talking about he the king of the queendom. For all y'all running around talking about King Kong consciousness is the queen of the kingdom. Please focus, of the queendom. Nigga, focus. I'm also king of the silverback gorilla kingdom. I'm also the king of the silverback alpha male gorilla kingdom. I'm the king of the queendom and I'm the king of the kingdom. Silverback Garvey gorillas. I said silverback Garvey gorillas. Lie. Nigga, I need you to focus. You're always getting distracted on snow bunnies. Don't you got two queens? Five, five, thick in the thighs, but I'm focused. Lie. I got my two queens. Five, five, thick in the thighs, but I'm focused. Let us stay focused. They were five, five, thick in the thighs, but they were Caucasian. Oh, we remember. They were five, five, thick in the thighs, but they were Caucasian. Just in case you forgot, he said five five. She was thick in the thighs. Five five, thick in the thighs. Five five, thick in the thighs. Thick in the thighs. Five five, five five, thick in the thighs. Five five, thick in the thighs. Five five, thick in the thighs. Five five, she was thick in the thighs. Five five, mama thick in the thighs. Five five, thick in the thighs. Let me hit the cash apps. 
Let me hit the cash apps. Eugene sent $10. How many cookies do you crush on the road? <laughs> Great question, Eugene, because I'm telling you, he hitting them snow bunnies. <laughs> Baby. Brother Eugene sent $10. Thank you, Brother Eugene. Now, Brother Eugene, before I answer this question, how many cookies do you crush on the road? Before I answer your question, how many cookies do you crush on the road, Brother Eugene? And thank you for your $10, Brother Eugene. But here's my question, Brother Eugene. As a black man, I need you to help me, Brother Eugene. Text me directly, my brother. I need to ask you a question before I can answer your question. Brother Eugene, why does a man want to know how many cookies another man is crushing during his time on the road? Why is that of interest to you? I have no interest in knowing how many women you crush. I have no interest in knowing how many women other men in the conscious community crush. So brother Eugene, I need you to help me. Why is my personal sexual life of interest to you. If you answer that, brother Eugene, if you answer me, my brother, I will respond with an answer. Oh, brother Eugene, we understand why you're asking because this nigga's always distracted talking about five, five, six, and the thighs. You a fool. I'm out, baby.